Hey everyone, and welcome back to my channel. Today, we're diving into the world of digital payments, specifically the ever-popular Clover app. You know, the one that lets you shop now and pay later, a lifesaver for many of us. But here's the thing, when it comes to checkout time, there are always questions. And one that keeps popping up is, does Clover accept Venmo? Intrigued? Well, buckle up because that's exactly what we're going to answer today. We'll be dissecting Clover's payment methods, exploring alternatives if Venmo isn't on the table, and ultimately giving you the peace of mind you need for your next shopping spree. Understanding Clover, a payment powerhouse, but not quite Venmo friendly. So let's get started. Clover has taken the shopping world by storm. It allows you to split your purchases into smaller installments, making those dream items a touch more attainable. But here's the catch, Clover operates on its own payment system. That means, unfortunately, Venmo isn't currently listed as an accepted payment method. Now, before you hit that unsubscribe button, hold on. While Venmo might be out, there are still ways to pay with Clover. Clover's payment arsenal, what you can use. Clover offers a couple of tried and true methods to get your payments flowing. Here's the lowdown. Debit card. This is your classic and most widely accepted option. If you have a debit card linked to your checking account, you can easily connect it to Clover and use it for your purchases. Credit card, another common choice. Just remember, using a credit card means accruing interest if you don't pay your Clover balance in full by the due date. So, use it responsibly. Alternatives to consider when Venmo isn't the answer. All right, we get it. Maybe you don't have a debit card readily available, or perhaps you're looking for a way to keep your credit card usage in check. Here are a couple of alternative payment methods to consider. ACH Bank Transfer. This option involves linking your bank account directly to Clover. It's a secure way to make payments without needing a debit card. Prepaid Debit Card. If you're wary of credit cards but still want some flexibility, a prepaid debit card can be your saving grace. Just load it up with the funds you need for your Clover purchase and you're good to go. Beyond payment methods, Clover's perks and considerations. While we're on the topic of Clover, let's take a quick detour to explore some of its other features. Remember, using Clover comes with certain advantages. Budget-friendly split payments. This is the core of Clover's appeal. Splitting your purchases into manageable installments can significantly ease the financial burden. Fast and easy approval process. Getting approved for Clover is generally a quick and straightforward process. However, there are also a few things to keep in mind. Interest rates. While using your debit card avoids interest charges, using a credit card can accrue interest if the balance isn't paid in full by the due date. Be sure to factor that into your decision. Late payment fees. Missing a Clover payment can result in late fees. Make sure you stay on top of your payment schedule to avoid any unnecessary charges. Wrapping up, shop smart, pay easy, just not with Venmo. Yet. All right, folks, that's all we have for today. We hope this video shed some light on whether Clover accepts Venmo, spoiler alert, not yet, and provided you with some helpful alternatives for making your Clover purchases. Remember, Clover offers a convenient way to manage your finances, but be sure to use it responsibly and understand the terms before you dive in. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions about Clover or other payment methods, don't hesitate to leave a comment below. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more content like this. Until next time, happy shopping.